public service announcement. We got a fake reporter doing fake news by the name of Ellie Setback. Not only is this scumbag doing fake news and being a culture vulture, but he's also pitting young African Americans against each other. Black brothers, brown brothers, and alike. Instead of pushing this boxing agenda forward and asking the right questions and the tough questions, he's creating dissension and division with a microphone and capitalizing on it financially while leaving others to repatch relationships that have been built over quite some time. I say, let the fighters and the teams do the arguing, the debating, the fussing, the fighting, only to make up because they have a mutual respect for their positions. Let's not let some scumbag reporter who's never boxed a day of his life never helped a, anyone. Check this out. Okay, you sparred Haney. I think Regis smokes him. I think Regis is too strong. I think Haney's boxing. He lost to Loma. No, he didn't have lose to Loma. He didn't lost to Loma. The whole world saw him lose. Uh, you like lose. him because he's nice to you. No, it's, it's not even that. I yes, think, it is. I, I feel like Haney is like more confident where he's at and in himself. And a lot of people think Progress is going to walk over. And I'm not taking anything from Progress, but I think Haney's going to win that Security fight. Security check. Haney looks terrified when he fights. He looks scared and uncomfortable. He doesn't look... What did you say? Confident? I feel I like he's, he's more confident in where he's at. Because I'm, surp I'm surprised he took the fight. He took the fight. You think he would take the fight if he thought he was going to lose that fight? Well, he wants a shortcut to the belt. I think he wins that fight. I think he, well, I, we'll see. I think he wins that fight. Unanimous decision. I think we just stopped him, but we'll see, but... I saw a video of him sparring Devin, too. I seen Devin was putting it on. Speaking of Devin, what do you guys think of Devin Haney? I mean, he's, he's doing incredible stuff. I mean, are you, are you familiar with him? Yeah, yeah, man, he'll spar. What do you I do? knew him since, uh, since he was little, but I think he's a great fighter. He's also the future. He's in your group of yeah, I feel, like, I feel like he's a great fighter, but he better stay out of my way because I'm going to beat him up. I honestly, I honestly didn't think he was a good fighter until I got in there and sparred him. And he didn't think the same of me. And in the sparring, he looked at me and he stopped. He was like, you the truth, but I'm the truth too. And then after that, we just got respect for each other. Why do you think people write him off? What you mean by that? When he shows up to a gym, they don't think he's that good, but after the sparring, they give him respect. What is it? Uh, honestly, I don't know, but sometimes you gotta show people better. You can tell them. So I think that's better. I feel like my, I feel like um my like probably some people don't know about me, and some people do. So those so, who don't know, so my name is a lot bigger than this. A now. lot of people, a lot of people don't know until they see. Yeah. So they can sit there and watch on Instagram, but then when you see somebody actually come up in person, like a lot of people, they tell they'll tell you that I'm trash, but then they see me in the gym and they see me go 20 rounds straight with four different people and be like, yo, that boy the truth. So there you have it, another great video for ESP.